All right, back, welcome back to Electro Anarchy. Uh, today, I uh, thought, or at least on this video, I thought I would uh, experiment around a little bit. I mean, I did the, the last video uh, where you can, uh, where I set up the GPIO uh, for the Orange Pi light. And now, what I did is I took uh, the jumper uh, and the GPIO breakout board, put it on a breadboard, got it all set up here, and uh, plugged in an LED and uh, ran one, uh, the ground of the LED, run it directly to ground and then run one wire directly over to a uh, port on your breakout board. Um, you can use a resistor in line uh, to lower the voltage if necessary uh, but this, this I tried it without it on this one and it seems to be fine. Uh, so um, let's see about getting this thing to run. So let's go back up here. Okay. The first thing we need to do is we need to create our own application. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go over and we are going to, uh, and if you're using the Armbian, um, select a, a, it's under accessories, let's go over here you can see, uh, under accessories here, under accessories and a program called Pluma. Weird name, but it seems to work okay. It's just a text editing program is all it is. Okay, so we've got this pulled up. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need it to write us uh, write a program here. So what we're going to do, um, this is just base, a basic uh, flashing LED or blink uh, example off of the wiring pie. Um, uh, well, um, the description of wiring, uh, the wiring pie. Anyway. So we're going to include wiring pi dot h. Okay. Okay, so then we're gonna do integer main void. Okay, we're gonna do a brace. This is where we're going to have some. Uh, we're going to need to figure out. So right now we're just going to put zero as a placeholder. Uh, we're going to have to assign the port here in a minute. Uh, that was one of the things that I found out that's very specific on uh, this. The ports on this uh, this uh, Orange Pi light is different than the other ports for, say, Raspberry Pi or anything else like that. Uh, so. We'll go over that in just a minute when we get this running and I'll show you how to discover uh, which port that you're going to use. Because uh, it threw me for a loop at first and then I got it figured out. Alright, digital. Right. Like I said, we will just do this for now and we will come back and change it in a minute. Okay, so that's our basic program. All right, so what we need to do is we need to go over and open up a terminal emulator. Your terminal, open up your terminal. All right, so what we're going to need to do is we need to need to do GPIO read all. Okay. Now let me do this to be a little bit easier. Okay, 
Now, as you can see, it lists out all your ports and everything down here. Now we are we are two ports up from the bottom on the ground, so we have zero voltage here. We have GPIO 25 and GPIO 24. We are plugged into GPIO 24. Now on a lot of these, you'll see on the websites, these pinouts are different. Um, don't know why, but I've noticed if you, if you look at this as your reference, uh, it seems to work good. So we're going to be going on port 24. So that's what we are going to put into our program here. So we go back here to all these zeros and change those to 24. and 24 okay so now we're good to go so now we can save as and we are going to save it as uh, what did they say a blink blink dot C and that's going to be our thing I'm just going to save it on to the desktop make it easy hit save okay so now that's saved and done all right next thing to do we need to open up our term terminal emulator again and we're going to need to CD to our desktop so now we're on our desktop so what we need to do is we need to input uh, GCC dash dash O not a zero O link is what we're going to call it we're going to use link dot C okay Calling wiring pi. Okay, so now we're going to compile this. It didn't take long. And now we're going to run it. And what you're going to do is you're going to type sudo dash blink. So now that's your command. Anytime you want to run this this app, uh, blink.c, anytime you want to run it, you just type in this. It'll run this script because you created your own script. And let's go down to the board. You can see the LED. And we're going to hit enter. Oh, got to put in a password. Sorry, hold on. And password. And then there we go. And then you've got a functioning script. So that's how to do that. I'm going to start uh, looking into some uh, better stuff. I noticed that on this we have um, uh, several different input and outputs. We have um, uh, several different. Uh, you know, you transmit in and out, so we have several different pipes um, to uh, do some communication on. Uh, we also have um, we have several different communications here. So it looks like I could hook up some radios, we could hook up some keypads, uh, many different things. So uh, now we got this running. I'm going to pull up some stuff and experiment and come out with some more videos. So if you guys like this, please give me a good a thumbs up. If you don't, give me a thumbs down. Please tell me why. Uh, if you like my channel, please subscribe. And as always, you guys take care. See you next time.